But hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to Reading with Toby. Today I am doing the mid-year book freak out tag for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the very first question is the best book that you've read so far in 2020. So before this question it would have been really easy <laughs> until I finished the last book that I read because now I think they're like tied. I don't know. I've been thinking about it but I think they're tied. Before I would have said The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I love this book, but I just finished Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James and I absolutely love this book. This book was incredible, just incredible. But yeah, I can't decide what if I like one better than the other, they, but they gave me two different feelings. They're two different books. They're both African inspired fantasies, but they're completely different and I just don't know. I don't know. So I'm gonna, I have to pick these two. I mean, eventually at the end of the year, I'll pick one and who knows, maybe I'll read another book that'll be both of these. I mean, I doubt it, but right now I can't decide. So I'm gonna say these two. Okay, so the next question is the best sequel that you've read so far in 2020. So I have yet to read any sequels so far in 2020. I'm definitely going to be reading some more sequels the rest of the year. Like next month, I plan on reading The Clash of Kings, which is the second book in the a Song of Ice and Fire series or the Game of Thrones series. There's some more sequels coming out that I'm definitely going to get to, but I haven't read one yet. So the next question is a new release that you haven't read but want to. All right, so for that I have two books. The first one is a new release that came out this month actually, and that is The Vanishing Half by Brett Bennett. This is one of my most anticipated releases. I was super excited about it and it's getting a ton of love right now, which is really exciting. But yeah, this is following two twins who end up getting separated and one lives her life as white passing and the other lives her life as black. And that just sounds fascinating and I'm super excited about it. I love this cover. I love how much is her other book, The Mothers. So I'm super excited about this one. Then the other new release that I have been wanting to read but haven't gotten to yet is Long Bright River by Liz Moore. I read her other novel called The Unseen World, which is a fantastic novel you should definitely read it if you haven't yet but this is her newest release and it came out in january and i haven't read it yet but i'm pretty sure this is like a crime novel and it's following a detective and her sister who is an addict and it's about like the opiate crisis in america and things like that i'm thinking it's going to be amazing like her writing is incredible it is like a thick book so yeah i really need to get to this one okay, so the next question is the most anticipated release for the second half of the year so i just did a video talking about um my most anticipated releases for the second half of the year actually i will link that video for you guys i go through a ton of books there's a lot of good horror books coming out a lot of good um queer books coming out a lot of books by black authors that i highlight in that video so definitely check that out if you're looking for some suggestions but from that i am definitely like my number one most anticipated release is the fires of vengeance by evan winter which is the second book to the rage of dragons I cannot wait. <laughs> but I'm also looking forward to V.E. Schwab's new book. Tessa Moshbeg's new book sounds really good. I am excited for this one book called These Violent Delights. I don't know why, but I think I'm going to love it. It's um, The Secret History meets Call Me By Your Name, and it just sounds like everything I'm gonna love. It sounds really dark and a really dark love story, which I'm all about. So I'm super excited for that one. And then I'm also really excited for um, Blacktop Wasteland, which comes out next month. And it's just a crime noir novel, which I've never read, but I love noir films. I don't know, like the synopsis of this book sounds incredible. So those are just some of the ones that I'm super excited about, but definitely check out that video if you wanna hear all the rest of the books that I'm really looking forward to for the rest of the year. Okay, so question number five is the biggest disappointment this year. So that one, I think I'm going to go with Valentine by Elizabeth Wetmore. This was also one of my most anticipated releases for 2020. It just sounded really interesting and fascinating. It's about this small town in Texas in the 70s and you're following a bunch of different women. You switch different perspectives of the women in this small town after a Mexican girl is brutally raped and the rest of the women are white. I thought it was gonna be a really intense novel about like rape culture, about toxic masculinity, I thought it was gonna be like a feminist novel about race, but uh, it just kind of like lost me. I, like it wasn't a bad book, but for me, I didn't really care for it. Um, I didn't really like how, yeah, this really tragic event happened to this girl, and then you switch perspectives, and some of the perspectives like, barely mention the rape and you're just following their lives like selling avion products and i was just like what is happening so 
it wasn't for me but it's definitely not a bad book like i can see how this isn't a bad book but for me i just it kind of rubbed me the wrong way so definitely one of my most disappointing but i mean the cover is still beautiful <laughs> okay the next book is your biggest surprise so far and that one 100 is black leopard red wolf by marlon james now i never really heard anyone talk about this book i picked it up because i saw some beams just talk about this book and she absolutely loved it and i'm always looking for more um fantasy novels adult fantasy books so i had no idea what to expect going into this i just knew that it was really violent that's literally all i knew and i have my eye on it i finally decided to read it and oh my god <laughs> this book blew me away i absolutely love this book like i don't think i can tell you how much i love this book this book did something to me it's like it's like it took a part of my soul like this book is like a part of me now <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Marlon James is a freaking genius. Like, I just, I'm, I don't even know what to say. I absolutely loved it. This is following a man named Tracker as he is hired to go find this lost boy. And it's based off African mythology and folklore. And it is wild. So many crazy creatures. You go to all these different lands and meet all these different people, different characters in here with strange abilities and powers and shapeshifters. It is just insane. Like, it is insane. <laughs> it is super violent, explicit, crude, trigger warnings for literally everything. I Not a lot of people are going to like this book. It's definitely a very polarizing book. You go look at the reviews and it's literally either this was the most incredible book, book I've ever read or what in the world, DNF, I couldn't even get through it. I, I freaking, I, I love this book so much. All right, so the next question is your favorite new author, debut or new to you? I haven't read multiple books by one author to like really say if they are my favorite author, but for sure some authors that I wanna keep checking out is definitely Marlon James. I'm definitely gonna read um, A Brief History of Seven Killings, like 100% I'm reading that book. Um, I'm definitely going to check out Celeste Ng's other work. Uh, everything I never told you because I freaking loved her writing those two authors I'm definitely like have my eye on and will read probably whatever else they come out with <laughs> Okay, so the next question is your newest fictional crush. So I don't get crushes on um, Characters I don't really have any fictional crushes. So okay, the next one is your newest favorite Character, okay, so this one is kind of hard because I truly did love tracker in this but he is like Not necessarily like a good guy <laughs> So it's kind of hard. It's kind of weird to say that he's like your favorite character, but I just like felt so much for him and same with Tao He completely changes at the end of the book and Not necessarily in a good way, but he definitely has my heart <laughs> Um, so yeah, those are some of my favorite characters. Okay, so the next one is a book that made you cry So I don't really cry with books but was one that got me really really close <laughs> really really close to crying and that was little fires everywhere by celeste e now i'm pretty sure i was like extra emotional while reading this book so that's why i um almost cried but for some reason mia's story in this book when we find out about her past and her brother and everything i just like felt it and i almost cried i got really emotional i felt really like i don't know connected or i just like empathized sympathized with her but yeah, I definitely got close to crying reading about Mia in this book. But yeah, this book was amazing. Okay, so the next question is a book that made you happy. So for sure, a book that made me happy was um, An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Colonel Chris Hadfield. I listened to this on audiobook and I freaking loved it. <laughs> this book definitely made me happy. I was so excited every time to get in my car to listen to this book. It's basically just um, Colonel Chris Hadfield telling you all about what it's like to be an astronaut, his journey, to becoming an astronaut he's Canadian and it was like a huge deal for him to become a part of NASA and all about that and then he talks about the skills that he learned being an astronaut and how he applies that to his real life and it was just absolutely fascinating I love anything that has to do with space with being an astronaut and I just love this like I geeked out so hard on this book <laughs> I absolutely loved it the next question is the most beautiful book you've bought so far this year so that one is definitely Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. I mean, look at that gold foil. Beautiful. And then under the dust jacket. Oh my God. Stunning. Like, look at that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This book is about Shakespeare and how he lost his son in the Black 
plague is supposed to be very sad and it's all about grief and it's like less about Shakespeare and more about the grief and loss that this family deals with and I've heard amazing things about this book. I cannot wait to read it and the cover is just absolutely beautiful. All right, so the last question is what books do you need to read by the end of the year? So there aren't really like books that I for sure want to get to at the end of the year except for one which I will get to but I mean like the books on my five star predictions I would like to read all of those books by the end of the year. Some of the new releases coming out I definitely want to get to by the end of the year and this is the only book that like I have for sure planned to read by the end of the year and that is Dune by Frank Herbert. This is another like beautiful book that I bought this year. But yeah, I'm super excited about this one purely because of the movie coming out. <laughs> and also I love sci-fi and I want to read um, this epic sci-fi and find out why it's a classic. And I just love Timothy Chamelet. He is beautiful. And also Josh Brolin is in it. Zendaya is in it. Javier Bardem. Like some of my all-time favorite actors are in that movie. So I cannot wait. But I do want to read the book before I see the movie. So this is for sure happening. I'm going to try. I keep seeing like mixed reviews about it though. Some people just didn't care for it. Some people couldn't even finish it. But some people absolutely love it. So I don't know where I'm going to fall. All right guys. So that is the end of this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know any answers to these questions. Like what was your favorite book you've read so far this year? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.